you think about the Harlem Renaissance, Ralph Ellison was a very significant player. He lived at Riverside Drive and 150th Street, and that's where he died at that address. And his neighbors wanted to sort of honor him with a monument by where he lived. Elizabeth Catlett, an artist who was a contemporary of his, was honored with the opportunity. And she did this figure that reflected the invisible man. So it's a silhouette, but if you look at the posture of the character, it's almost hip hoppy. Or if you look at hieroglyphics in terms of the African figure and the Egyptian representation, it moves between those two. And because it's an open profile, as the seasons change, you look through the figure, you can see traffic, you can see the river, you can see the changing leaf patterns of the trees of the fall and the summer. It's the color of the changing aspect of what an invisible man might look like. People here thought Mr. Ellison was more than just a simple interpretation. It was something more than that. And I felt Elizabeth Catlett felt she captured it. The neighborhood felt she captured it. And it's had a significant place, I think, in his life in New York. He said he saw New York as his ver version of uh, Paris and Montmartre and sort of uh, uh, living in Paris. Harlem was like that for him in the 20th century.